Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the TCP IP communication between the two MATLAB sessions. In fact, you can also use this code to communicate over the internet or on a local network. So the TCP, there are two, uh, there are two protocols, the TCP and the UDP, user datagram protocol and the transmission control protocol. In the TCP is a secured communication protocol. However, UDP is faster than the TCP, but there is no security guarantee and the transmission acknowledgement you cannot get into the UDP. But the TCP is connection oriented where the first connection is established and then data transmitted over the network. So it has the FTP, Telnet, etc. and then the TCP layers and then IP and the network layers and then into the physical layer and then over the network the data transmitted to the user number 2 and then the overhead which has been added by the user 1 it is decoded and it will be decoded at the user 2 side their physical header overhead it will be decoded here the network overhead IP and the TCP and others communication protocol overhead will be decoded at the user number 2 so let's see into the MATLAB where we will establish a two session of a MATLAB MATLAB session 1 and the MATLAB session 2 here MATLAB session 1 we will use it for as a server and MATLAB session 2 will be used as a client so we need to call here the TCP IP command of a MATLAB so we need to create a first object T is equal to the TCP IP and then we need to pass here four parameters. The very first parameter is IP address, which is where we want to connect. So 00, 0 will be the of course only the local IP address, and then the port number which we want here. The port number is the, let's make it 30,000, and uh, the network role which we need to define here. Okay. Network role, of course, this is server, so we need to write here network role as a server. In the next session, we will write network role as a client. And now that this T object has been created, now we need to open the TCP communication here and then it will start to listen for an incoming connection. So, F open, F open T. Now you can see here the MATLAB has started to listen the communication. Now let's create a client. For a client, we also need to create a same um, object here. Means you can also change the object name, but uh, here you can also create a same object because of that there are two different MATLAB sessions, so the variable will not uh, interfere with each other. So the T is equal to the TCP IP and here where we want to connect we want to connect at a local host okay and the port number is 30,000 and now we need to define the network role here network role is client Okay, now connect it with the server. So F open after F open. Here you will see uh, this MATLAB server session will accept the connection. See, when I press enter here, it accepted the connection. Now just we need to transfer the data from here and then it will receive the data so right here for receive the data so data is equal to the f read the t okay let's make a 10 byte read now transfer the data from here suppose that first create a data from 1 to 10 a linear data and uh, then transmit it simply what you can do here 
f right f right t and beta sorry i have transmitted here but the timeout has occurred here so we need to read here one more time okay so now read the data see here data is 1 2 3 4 10 and here what we transmitted the data is same thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for next video tutorial